you guys, I mean, if, if you didn't feel like you were underdogs, I think a lot of other people thought you guys were the underdogs coming into this one with their size and front court. How, what was the attitude coming in? How did you use that to your advantage? What, what did you do to slow them down? All the above. Yeah, I, I don't know that uh, we play a lot of mind games with that kind of stuff. We knew they were very good. Uh, we knew that they, because of their size, they can be very imposing and very intimidating for other teams that they come out in the floor against them. Uh, but I, I don't I sense that the, the wasn't too big a moment for the kids, and um, they, they knew they'd have to play a well of a ball game, and, and they knew they were going to uh, come at them, and uh, they, they did. They played their hearts out, and uh, it was a pretty, pretty fun day. You guys, you, you took over this program. Um, it was pretty lean. Not, not a whole lot of wins, you, and you coached some of those teams. How, how do you get from there to here? I mean, this is pretty special for, for where you guys were to where you are now. You know, I think what, what gets lost in all of that stuff is that the progress that these kids made, the juniors and seniors and sophomores, that started in third, fourth, fifth grade. That was, that was before I even got there. And so sometimes uh, coaches get too much credit for victories and, and – uh, too much blame for losses, but it was, uh, you know, the, the youth parents who coach these kids from little on, there was a passion in the community when I got there for basketball, and uh, really the, the first couple years uh, getting the right kids uh, in terms of attitude and, and uh, to be able to persevere through those first couple years is, is the toughest part. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty special group of kids. I'm going to do my best not to miss any of the key moments here because there are so many. Danny Padley inside in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter, um, against, he, he was oversized, and he was, I mean, he was doing work in there and, and hit some big baskets. How was he able to neutralize their size and be so effective? Well, I think his, his advantage tonight was uh, his quickness against them, and he was able to shoulder move or, or spin move and get, get to the basket a little bit and make it difficult. Now, they, they blocked some shots. They, they made us adjust a little bit. But I was so, so proud of our bigs, Jacob Haig and, and Danny and, and Johnny Hatch and all the guys, that they, they didn't let that fluster them, and they, they kept coming at them. Uh, and there's a degree of toughness uh, that you look for in your posts and your bigs, and, and they displayed that today. And, uh, you know, I know Danny scored a lot, but Jacob, uh, I said this earlier, I thought set the tone early in the game. Uh, even though he didn't maybe get some, some scores, uh, he kind of sent a message that he, you know, we were here to play, and, and he kept coming. So I was real proud of Jacob and his effort. You, you said the other night that Chris is a kid that seems to have that knack for hitting big shots in key moments, and he hit a couple, a couple big ones in the fourth quarter after not scoring for, I think, since the first half. Uh, just talk about his ability to, to get open there and, and hit those big shots. Uh, yeah, um, I, I said this the other night after the Dells that Chris Sefford is one of those kids that from little on has shot – trillions and trillions of shots and so I think when you get in a moment like this he's lived this moment on the playground I'm sure he's dreamed about it he's hit this shot a thousand times in his mind um, and I, he believes in himself and I think when he got that shot it's just instinct instinctual for him and so that's what's so fun when a kid works as hard as he has to put himself into this position and then just let his practice and training uh, take over it, it's pretty pretty fun Jordan Shea with the with the game winning basket, um, and not long before that he had to leave leave the floor. I, I don't know what happened. Well, I guess do do your best to recount for me well, that kind of crazy sequence of events from you know not being able to shoot those free throws to coming back to hit the game winner. Yeah, it was it was crazy because Chris said, "Coach, I'm going to be sick." He goes, "Like literally, I'm going to be sick right now," and so he left the court and and uh, got sick <laughs> and. Uh, couldn't have been three seconds later. Jordan said, Coach, I'm going to be – they both got sick at the same time. Talk about team togetherness. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know, you hear the expression, they, they literally – you know, they play their guts out. These guys literally played their guts out to win and wanted to win that badly. And, uh, 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 I mean, I, I, there isn't a, a, a coach that's ever been more proud of a group of kids than I am right, right now. No, not to get into too great a detail, but what, just was it, I mean, have they been feeling sick or did it get, you know, knock the wind out of them or something? I, I think they, I think it's they, they, they just because they play hard. It was very, very hot in the gym. I presume they were a little, you know, dehydrated. I, you know, I haven't talked to them really uh, other than a couple hugs. So um, I think they were just, just gassed. I don't want to, I mean, at the risk of hyperbole here. You know, Michael Jordan did some stuff like that, and you know, and I mean, Jordan had to leave because he was sick, and, and a minute and twenty later on the clock, 
Yeah. You know, he hits the game winning layup. Well, the, the kids probably won't mind the hyperbole. So <laughs> if you want to use it, that's okay. Uh, I, they have that kind of winning spirit. You know, uh, they have they have that kind of winning spirit, and that's uh, I guess that's the one comparison you can make is that they have a, a champion spirit. I won't keep you much longer. You guys, obviously, you know, you had to know that they were going to have a run in them, and you guys went up 39-30, I think, there, and, and they surged in a minute, a minute and a half, something like that, and all of a sudden they were up 40-39. to 39. Yeah. How did you weather that and get back in front? Well, I, they, they just nothing rattles these guys right now. I think they've been tested. They've been through the waters. You know, we lost games like that. Uh, we lost a game like that against Whitefish Bay Dominican early in the year. And I think we learned from that experience. And we've been in other close basketball games like that. And uh, these guys are, are good at weathering the storm, as you showed. Uh, I thought took possession of the ball late in the game and just kind of, because we were out of timeouts, you know, we ran out and uh, they had to finish it on their own and, and together. And, and they were able to do it. You guys, um, I think, I, I thought a key stretch was the, the second um, end of the first half, sorry. They had an 11 0 run to go ahead by seven. And you guys answered that. And, and it, was, it seemed to me like an opportunity for them there to, to create a little bit of a cushion. But you guys were able to respond and tie it by halftime. That yeah. moment, I, I thought, was as key as any. What, what were your thoughts on that stretch? Yeah, that, that was uh, – they, they hit us with a couple, uh, you know, left-handed hooks. And uh, we were able to clear our, clear our heads and, and keep our feet and made some, made some good plays. Uh, again, I think to win in games and, and uh, the tournament like this, you got to have composure – along with other things, and they have a great deal of composure uh, to withstand that. And, and um, yeah, they just they were just able to withstand the run and just kept playing. And then real quick, finally, one word to describe what you, you know, how this feels right now, this moment. Proud. I'm just proud of the kids. Uh, I just can't believe how hard they played. I, I just I have a lot of pride in, uh, in the kids awesome. for what they did. Anything else to mention? Oh, that's it. Congratulations. Okay, thank you.